Hey guys, today I've got a Sony Vegas tutorial for you, it's how to do a custom transition um, like the one I used in my 5k special. Um, here's a little preview of what we're going to look at now, if I just turn down my volume, there we are. Okay, so you saw that transition there, and that's what we're going to be looking at in Sony Vegas. So now what you're going to see is that I have a clip here and a clip here, so they're two different clips. Um, and what I've done is I've put them together and rendered them out um, into one clip. Um, now what you've got to do is you've got to find that area where the clip first starts. Um, I think it was somewhere around here. Just go back. There we are. So you see where the uh, second clip, uh, clip starts. You need to find where that starts and basically um, you need to want, want to put a marker. So you want to press the M key. Um, if I do that, like that. Then what you want to do is you want to go back around 30 to 40 frames. Um, so as you can see on here it says th uh, frame 349. So I'm going to go back about 35 frames um, or so. That's way too far. And we'll just use it on like this. So about there will do. Um, you can zoom in if you want. Press the S key to split. And then again, go to your middle. And go. you want to go about 30 to 40 frames uh, this way, so I'm going to go about 35-ish again, um, but I'm not going to do it that accurate. Um, I can't remember how many frames I was looking at. That'll do. So um, what we're going to do is you've got to add the TV simulator, and you want to go for reset to none. Add that to the effect here. Now this is important. You want to click animate, and if I just move this out of the way, you're going to want to have to see your marker. So on here, click on your marker, there. You want to move the vertical sync all the way down, or just a little bit out, depends how you want it. I have it all the way down. And then go to the end, like this. And then you just want to bring that vertical sync all the way back up. So basically at the beginning of the timeline, it's all the way up. The middle of the timeline where you uh, press the, uh, put the marker, you go all the way down and then back at the end of the clip you put it back up again. Right now, so what you're going to see here is you're going to see this effect, okay? So you just see it move up and then it'll move down like that. Now what we want to do is add a blur. So you can go for a linear blur, like so. Um, either one will do, I think vertical looks the best. Um, so if we add that, what I like to do is um, I like to animate it. So to animate this, um, we go into the amount. So we go on to the animate. For this, uh, for the amount, I want you to have it on zero. And then you want to click on the marker and then click um, basically on the linear blur. So I just click it on here, it's just easier. You want to bring the, the amount just a little bit. It depends on the amount that you want to obviously do it. So I'll put it to about 54 is okay. Go back to the end of the clip and then put the amount down. So now what you're going to see is this effect, like this. Okay, like that. Um, now it's up to you on how long you want the transition to be, how blurred you want it to be, and obviously how fast uh, the vertical um, for the TV simulator is. Um, but that's basically it, and it obviously looks really sick um, in a clip. So I highly recommend it, especially with things like color corrections and other effects. So that's what it will look like, like that. Okay, so um, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.